The 90s was filled with some incredible movies, from award-winning dramas that swept the Oscars to massive blockbusters filled with charismatic movie stars and unbelievable special effects. Here are the biggest box office hits of the 1990s. The first Toy Story introduced Pixar as a studio, pioneered computer animation, and received three Oscar nominations. So it's not surprising that kids and their parents were excited to see the further adventures of Buzz, Woody, and the rest of the gang. And fun story about this sequel, it was originally going to be direct to video, but wound up being promoted to a full theatrical release during the production process. Good choice by Pixar and Disney. Mix action, comedy, aliens, and some really sharp suits, and you wind up with the ninth most popular film of the 90s. It was also Will Smith's first, but not last, appearance on this list, and his chemistry with Tommy Lee Jones is a huge reason why the movie wound up becoming so popular. What can I say? He makes it look good. Every kid's dream, every homeowner's nightmare. Home Alone, where a tiny madman in the shape of Macaulay Culkin constructs elaborate traps for two bumbling thieves, was exactly what audiences were looking for during the Christmas of 1990. Joe Pesci may have taken home an Oscar in 1991, but his highlight of the decade has to be getting absolutely destroyed by an eight-year-old as millions of people laughed, right? M. Night Shyamalan's Breakout has the honor of being the only horror film to crack the top 10 most popular films in the 90s. And if you remember when The Sixth Sense was released in 1999, all anyone could talk about was that shocking twist ending. The rest of the movie was pretty great too, especially the Oscar nominated performances from Haley Joel Osment and Tony Collette. And if you've never seen it, congratulations on avoiding spoilers for over 30 years. Now hurry up and watch it before someone gives it away. We couldn't leave the 90s without another movie where Will Smith defeats aliens. This time he teams up with Jeff Goldblum and together they welcome some very aggressive aliens to our home planet with plenty of explosions. There's no better way to celebrate the 4th of July than by earning over $300 million at the American box office. George Washington himself would be proud. One of the most beloved animated films of all time, Disney's The Lion King, was the highest grossing film of 1994. Worldwide, it grossed over $760 million. By the end of the year, Disney was saying Hakuna Matata on their way to the bank. Life might be like a box of chocolates, but Forrest Gump is like a box office champion. Okay, but seriously, among all the action movies and family favorites is this runaway hit drama. Forrest Gump won six Oscars, including one for Tom Hanks, director Robert Zemeckis, and its highly quotable screenplay. Steven Spielberg is no stranger to the top of the box office, but his 1990s might be one of the best decades for any filmmaker. Not only did he take home the Oscar for Best Picture and Best Director in 1993, he then went on to release Jurassic Park, which earned over $350 million at the box office. The tale of Dinos Gone Wild stacked the cast with Laura Dern, Samuel L. Jackson, and of course, Jeff Goldblum as another neurotic scientist, and somehow the special effects still look good decades later. Look, back in 1999, audiences had no idea there would one day be dozens of brand new Star Wars movies and TV shows. The Phantom Menace was the first new movie in the series since The Return of the Jedi in 1983. The movie's reception was mixed, to put it nicely, but that didn't stop it from becoming the second most popular film of the decade. And the highest grossing film of the 1990s, near, far, wherever you are, you probably saw Titanic in theaters. And if you had a crush on Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah, you probably saw it a few more times after that. The film truly has everything from sets, costumes, perfectly recreating the interiors of the original Titanic, to sweeping romance between a sheltered aristocrat and a penniless artist, to Bill Paxton playing with submarines for the first 20 minutes. Okay, I'm willing to bet only James Cameron was really excited about that part. Titanic was the highest grossing film in history until 2009 when it was dethroned by Avatar, also directed by James Cameron. But fans of the 90s will never let this one go. What 90s film have you rewatched the most? Let us know on Facebook and Twitter.